Oh my god! Nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. We were brought together here to talk about what you do and what I do. Huh? So, how's everything? Oh my god, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, that's me. You know, because um, after the after I, I after this interview was over, I was gonna ask them like, how how do I meet you? I wanted to like meet you. And I was thinking to myself like, I'm not doing much. I'm not doing enough, and I should do more. I just want to tell you what I feel. It's like, sama ada kita yang mengambil inspirasi atau memberikan inspirasi. I mean, it's not about titles. No, it's about doing things differently that can change communities. You know, build communities. In my case, when I see a, a disabled person. I try to ask myself, what is the, what is the ability in that person? How can I make use of his ability? Exactly. And uh, when I used to play football, I used to go for training and all that. I come back with injuries. So, so my my wife basically asked me one day, daripada awak mencederakan badan sendiri, <coughs> balik rumah bengkak sana berdarah sini semua, baik awak salurkan pengetahuan bola sepak kepada uh, murid-murid OKU saya. She said like that. So I went there. I said, okay lah, okay lah. Just give me the budak-budak okay you lah. I told them lah. Jom kita bina satu identiti di mana bila orang tengok orang okay you, the first thing is like bukan kesian dia. It's like wow. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's putting the wow factor into their life, you know, and that wow factor, it's through. I choose football lah. My interest in football has never been so great. Okay. Until today. Until today. Because of you. Thank you so much. Really, I, I didn't think that football was um, something that could change people's life in to this extent, you know? Betul. Yeah. I was going to ask you, the risiko is lagi tinggi, isn't it? Betul. Risiko pemain bola sepak orang buta is like number one, peratus kena cedera is always there lah. Hmm. Walaupun kita dah cemerlang, dah menang, dah di-rankingkan sebagai pasukan 17 terbaik dunia and uh, pasukan ke-5 terbaik di Asia, kami tetap tak ada rumah sendiri. Kami nak main bola sepak orang buta, kami terpaksa menggunakan padang pinjaman orang lain. When we say support us, jomlah sokonglah pasukan bola sepak orang buta Malaysia. What's the meaning of sokong? It's not sympathy. Exactly. It's empathy. Yes. So, I, I welcome anyone who comes and ask me, Coach, how can I help you? I tell them things like, boleh bagi saya air tak? They are like stun. Ah, ha? Dalam banyak-banyak, you minta air? I say sebab air pun memerlukan belanja. So, daripada anda berikan saya wang tunai, baik anda sokong saya dengan melabur masa peribadi atau memberikan benda-benda uh, yang yang saya boleh guna dalam latihan untuk mereka. And salah satu daripada itu ialah saya amat memerlukan tempat latihan. You know? Sesiapa yang boleh menaja kami tempat latihan, menyediakan padang yang kami boleh kata ini adalah tempat latihan bola sepak OKU Malaysia. Ini ya, inilah cita-cita impian saya untuk semua warga OKU. Some a place called home. Football, blind football is here to stay for many years to come. One day if I'm retired, I dah bersara or maybe tak ada lagi, yang saya pasti blind football akan terus Itu sudah pasti. Sebab kita dah buat satu ekosistem di mana sama ada Coach Sani ada ke tak ada, blind football akan terus bergerak. Ha, itu yang kita dah bina dalam negara kita. I'm too touched, you know. Too yeah. tersentuh sampai saya tak boleh nak cakap like, we need more teachers like you. Yeah. You know, and I, um, I'm actively involved right now in the film industry sebab nak sampaikan mesej macam ni. Um, and uh, Adi Wiraku too yeah. is actually based on Sukan. I suppose objective vision in life yeah somehow coincides, you know, so that's for what, sure, I, I have to... That's what we menggunakan sukan sebagai alat pembangunan sosial. So, we are reaching out to all. Wow. So, you will be our ambassador. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. From okay. today, any sokongan yang cikgu perlukan, yes. please let me know. Sure. Yeah, I will do that. Thank you very much. You are Thank our you voice, God. okay? Suara yes. kepada rakyat Malaysia. I, I'm, I am honoured to be. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Coach. No problem. Oh my God, I can't believe you're here. Why, why is it making you emotional? Because... Um, because there's so much we can do and we're not doing, you know. Um, 
and I know this because I wanted to quit acting in 2017 because I I realized that I was not serving the purpose that I came in for. I thought that we were going to make films that um, that's going to change people's life, you know. So then Adiwira came uh, to me when I saw the impact that it had on Cikgu Cikgu kat sekolah, um, on the kids, and how diorang punya um, kehidupan, no, dari segi their confidence. All of that just changed overnight, you know? and I and I stayed in it because I want to make a difference, you know. Mm. And I'm so glad. I'm honored to be sitting down next to you, you know, and and to know this. And I feel so stupid. Like I feel much a bodo lah, you know. <laughs> like why didn't I know about this before, you know? And and one more thing that I tell you, I, I feel so emotional because when I saw the the game happening, can and I'm thinking to myself like I should have been in the audience, and I wasn't, you know. What you and me are doing is just. Similar, you know, we're reaching out to different communities. Yeah. Just imagine if it's like, it's like 100 people like you and me, you know. Mm. Reaching out, telling people, changing Malaysia. Come on, jom, ayo keluar, jom, ayo keluar bersama kita, you know. Yeah, they, uh, they are all of them in this room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it together, coach. Okay. On that note, thank you very much. Yep. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> Hi, nama saya Sangita Kshusami. Sokong pasukan bola sepak buta Malaysia dengan menonton filem Eye on the Ball bulan Mac ini di sinema. <laughs>